Previously on Transformers Prime. If you don't survive, Optimus, I fear neither will this planet. No! What happened? It wasn't me. Me neither. I happened. Optimus, our past alliances, Autobot, Decepticon, no longer matter. Not while Unicron lives. I can lead you directly into Unicron's spark. A truce between Autobot and Decepticon. Optimus, how are we supposed to stop Unicron? With the Matrix of Leadership. It appears our leader has abandoned us. I believe we must consider the possibility of a future without Megatron. Jack, I feel you have earned the responsibility of safeguarding this important device until I return. So, how long before Unicron knows we're here? Make no mistake, he already does. Unicron grows ever stronger. How do we know Unicron isn't using Megatron to lead us all into a trap? We do not. More than 60 volcanoes are erupting worldwide, and downtown Honolulu is under six inches of snow. Scientists continue to devise theories connecting these unprecedented natural disasters with a planetary alignment which... So, who wants to play a game? That tears it. Where are you going? I can't just sit on my hands while the world spins out of control. And what exactly is it that you intend to do? Anything. Hook up with my boys at the Pentagon. Figure out a way to bury that monster for good. In the event Optimus can't. Don't you mean Optimus and Megatron? No one here is thrilled about this arrangement, Agent Fowler. Myself included. But with Optimus and Megatron together again. Whoa, w wait, again? Megatron was an Autobot? Optimus was a con? No. On either count, but there was a time, back on Cybertron, in the twilight hours of the Golden Age, when Optimus and Megatron were not sworn enemies. Do you recall when I mentioned that Optimus wasn't always a prime? Well, he wasn't always Optimus, either. He was once a clerk in the Iacon Hall of Records, named Orion Pax. But as he learned more about Cybertron's past, he grew increasingly concerned about the present corruption in high places and inequality among the masses. Orion became inspired by the words and ideas of a gladiator, one who had named himself after one of the 13 original primes, Megatronus. Megatronus vowed to challenge Cybertron's leadership and demand that all Cybertronians be treated as equals. This gladiator turned revolutionary rapidly gathered a loyal following, Soundwave chief among them. Orion began corresponding with Megatronus, who came to be something of a mentor to him. As Megatronus left the gladiatorial arena for the political, he saw fit to shorten his name. Before long, Megatron appeared before the High Council to propose his vision for a just society. And it was here that he began to reveal his true colors. 
proclaiming the need to overthrow the old guard with force and arrogantly demanding to be named the next prime. But Orion did not believe in violence as a means of achieving justice. The sparks and minds of the council were moved by Orion's words. Here, for the first time since Cybertron's golden age, stood someone worthy of being a prime. But that honor could only truly be achieved by earning the legendary matrix of leadership. His ambitions thwarted, Megatron spitefully severed all ties with Orion and the Council and came to wage war on all who opposed him through his growing army of followers, which he named Decepticons. He vowed to claim the Matrix for himself, wherever it might lie. In time, warfare consumed Cybertron, poisoning the planet to its core. Orion journeyed there, hoping to reverse the ill effects and found himself before the very spark of our life-giver, Primus himself. The ailing Primus sensed the innate nobility within Orion and bestowed the Matrix upon him. It was thus that a surprised and humbled Orion Pax came to be Optimus, the last of the Primes. So, Optimus got the Matrix from Cybertron's core, and now he's gonna give it to Earth's? What's to stop Megatron from just claiming the Matrix for himself this time around? Only his greater desire to save this planet so that he may in turn conquer it, as he so compellingly argued, provided the Lord of the Decepticons can ever be fully trusted. Unicron's spark is near. After you. Find me. Just woozy. The dark energon. It's starting to affect him. Steady as you go, Bulk. He's preparing to expel us. things. As we are within Unicron's body, it stands to reason they are some sort of antibody.
Fellow Decepticons, while our loyalty to Megatron's command has always remained steadfast, our leader's recent behavior has been questionable at best. And it would seem as though Earth has become nothing short of a failed experiment. Commander Arachnid, you're not suggesting that we abandon Lord Megatron. Despite Soundwave's efforts, we have been unable to detect our master's signal. Megatron is either permanently offline or in the thrall of Unicron. Neither is in the best interest of the Decepticons. So I am deeming an exodus to be the most prudent course of action. Unless anyone has a problem with that. Set course for Regulon 4. You have something to say, Soundwave? I command this vessel. You will resume your post. Step aside! your spark for that. I yield. Watch out for the quiet ones. Communication links are down, as expected. But we've lost their signal. Doesn't that mean... Usually. But a more likely explanation would be the severe interference caused by these electromagnetic anomalies. So if we can't track them and they can't contact us, how are we going to know when they're ready for pickup? Where did you get that? Optimus. Honestly, I don't know why he gave me the key to the ground bridge power supply. Jack. There is no key to the ground bridge. Well, then, what is this? That is the key to Vector Sigma. The what? You are holding one of Cybertron's most important relics. I, I shouldn't have this. Optimus entrusted it to you, Jack. But that doesn't make any sense. Why? Because he doesn't plan on coming back. defenses into believing we're not a threat. Autobots, I will need you to keep our attackers at bay for as long as you can. Mega 
you from? Destroy the Prime! I command you! Megatron is commanded by no one! of leadership, I call upon you. You cannot defeat me, disciple of Primus. I have transcended physical being. By my will alone, all upon this world shall fall into chaos. Not while I still function, Unicron. The power of the Matrix will light our darkest hour. No! Could be aftershocks. Do you think? I do. Don't you remember, old friend? Optimus, are you okay? Why did he call me that? What did you do to him? Who are they? Our mortal enemies! We're outnumbered. Go! I'll cover you! Right, B? And Optimus, is he... Dead? No. But he looked right at us without recognizing us. 
didn't even know his own name. When Optimus surrendered the Matrix of Leadership, he lost more than the collective wisdom of the Primes. He lost his own memories. Welcome back, Lord Megatron. At ease, Breakdown. That is no way to welcome a long-lost comrade. Orion Pax is one of us. Thank you.